Hi, I'm Anna from Delkin Devices, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our sensor cleaning system and also talk to you a little bit about sensor cleaning in general. Um, sensors are present on digital SLR and mirrorless cameras, so we're going to show you both today to get you an idea of um, how to complete a sensor cleaning for each. Um, we have an array of different products that will address your sensor cleaning needs. Um, not just for mirrorless and digital SLR cameras, but also we're going to address the different types of debris that can end up on your sensor surface. Before we begin, we should address the fact that most cameras today come with a built-in sensor cleaning mechanism. Um, in both cases, the sensor is going to uh, clean the sensor itself, um, usually by vibration and some adhesive. Well, that's helpful because it's going to remove some of the loose abrasive debris that might become um, adhered to your sensor surface. It doesn't always remove everything. Um, for that reason, it's important to also either bring your camera in to get a digital SLR sensor clean at, um, at a camera store or at the manufacturer, or learn how to do it yourself, um, which can save you a little bit of money and also allow you to do this before you go out for any type of a shoot. In either case, uh, we have the Canon 5D Mark IV here, and then we have a uh, GH4 here. So this is our mirrorless Panasonic, this is our standard digital SLR. In either case, you're going to go to your menu functions and you're going to put your camera into sensor cleaning mode. In a digital SLR, that's going to lock the mirror up to expose your sensor. In a mirrorless camera, you're simply going to remove the lens um, to expose your sensor surface. So I'm going to take you through first um, what is included in our digital SLR uh, sensor cleaning travel kit, and then also how to use everything. So this is our new kit. Um, inside, you're gonna see it comes with 15 sensor safe wands, one sensor scope that's gonna allow you to view um, under magnification and light your sensor surface. You're gonna have our sensor solution, which is safe for all electronics. It's air travel safe, it's approved by the FAA. It can go into your carry-on baggage. Um, and touch all of your sensitive electronics um, without risk of any damage. Now that's coated and non-coated sensors. Uh, you don't have to worry about the type of sensor you have. This is going to be safe for everything. And then um, new to this kit, we've also added the sensor bulb. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use that. So in this case, I've taken the 5D Mark IV. I've locked the sensor up. I've exposed, I'm sorry, I've locked the mirror up. I've exposed the sensor surface. And I'm going to go ahead and do step one, which is inspect my sensor. This is our sensor scope. It uses 5x magnification and it has four ultra bright LED lights. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on with a little push button. It has two batteries inside that you can change out whenever you'd like. Um, this will give you a really long lifetime. I've never had to change the batteries in probably two years in this unit. Um, but if you ever have to, the batteries are uh, very easy to find. They're CR2025 coin batteries available at any drugstore. You'll notice on the sensor scope itself, it's going to have a few levels on the bevel. And that's so that you can get an exact perfect level of magnification on your sensor surface, regardless of if you're using a Canon, a Nikon, um, a Fuji, uh, whatever brand that you're shooting with. This is going to sit onto your lens mount at the exact right magnification level and focus level so you don't have to adjust anything. So in this case, I'm going to place it on the surface. And I'm just going to look inside and take a look around. Now in this case, I can see one little speck right in the middle. Um, it looks like it's a loose speck. However, I did my automatic sensor clean on this camera and it did not remove it. So this is a good case where you say, you know, I went ahead and did the automatic sensor cleaning. It's helpful, but I still see something on there and I don't want to have to remove it in Photoshop. So, I'm going to remove this, turn off the button, put it to the side, and then I'm going to use our blower, um, which is just going to use pressurized air, and I'm going to turn the camera body upside down, and I'm going to blow inside. And you want to be sure to get around all of the edges. Something that can happen often is your uh, sensor surface is statically charged, and uh, when you when you put your lens back on, you start shooting, or let's say you turn your camera off, you put it in a camera bag, you go travel somewhere. A lot of times the loose abrasive debris that's become stuck in the chamber itself will end up back on the sensor surface. So you're not just cleaning your sensor, you're actually cleaning the entire chamber when you go ahead and do that. So I've um, done a little bit of blowing. I'm gonna put it back down 
and I'm gonna turn back on my sensor scope and I'm gonna take another look. So that actually did a pretty good job. I don't see that major speck there um, anymore. However, I see a few little other particles that may be adhered on. Now the two most common types of particles that we see on a sensor surface are dry and wet. Um, dry particles are usually something like dust or something floating around in the air that will end up inside your sensor chamber during lens cleaning or lens changes. Um, wet particles can be pollen, it could be humidity. Um, we've actually seen some people blow into their sensor chamber to try to remove something and you don't realize it, but moisture from your breath will get on your sensor surface. So in the case of wet debris, we need something to break that chemical bond and that's when our wands and solution come into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those now. I'll take my sensor scope off and turn it off and I'm going to go ahead and pick one of our wands and I wanted to point out something interesting with our wands. You'll see that they're double-sided. Um, and that's a really unique property for our wands. Most wands that you see out there are gonna be single-sided. Um, not only are they double-sided, so we're gonna have a wet end and a dry end, but I've gone ahead and taken off the fabric and you'll see that inside the wand, it's wicked. You see these little notches cut out. So what that does is if you oversaturate your wand head when you apply the solution, it's gonna hold that liquid inside of the wand to prevent oversaturation on your sensor surface itself. So that's a neat feature as well. Um, these do come in totally sealed plastic uh, bags um, that are sterile. So you want to keep them in these bags until you use them. What I usually recommend is you cut it with scissors here and then you remove the end before cleaning. That way you keep it safe and nice and clean. Um, so I've gone ahead and done that in this case. I'm going to take my wand and my solution. and I'll apply a few drops to the wand surface just to saturate it. So you wanna see it uh, fully saturated from end to end. And like I said, if you do accidentally oversaturate, that wicked area in the center is gonna hold any of that solution um, that's in excess inside the wand. And you're going to put it into your sensor uh, chamber. You're gonna start at one end and touch the sensor surface and I'm going to move it one way across and then I'm going to change the angle about a 45 degree angle and I'm move it the other way across and then I'm going to take it out and immediately flip over and do the exact same thing with the dry end. Now these are single use so once I've done that um, that goes in the trash. I'm going to take my sensor scope, turn the light back on, place it on the camera bezel and peer back inside. So I can tell that it's done a really good job. It's removed all of the debris that I had seen on there previously. This had removed the large portion of it, um, the big speck that I saw. Um, when I used the wand, it removed anything remaining that I saw. So this is now a clean sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera carefully and turn it off. When you turn it off, you can hear that the uh, mirror is gonna flip back into place and then I'm going to reattach my lens and I'm ready to start shooting. Now the process is gonna be the same with a mirrorless camera. The only major difference you're going to see is that your sensor is much closer to the camera bezel. So you're gonna get a much easier view of your sensor, um, even with the naked eye. But the sensor scope does still help by magnifying and illuminating your sensor surface so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, you'll notice that it's gonna fit right on the camera bezel, same as your Canon or Nikon. And you're just gonna peer inside and take a good look. Now, because it is closer, you're going to, it's gonna look different than a digital SLR. If you're used to a digital SLR, you're moving to mirrorless, you're gonna notice the sensor is much closer um, and it almost looks a little blurry at first. You need to adjust your eye a bit so when you take a look, you can really see everything that's going on. In this case, I see a few specs, so I would use the exact same process that I just showed you with the Canon digital SLR on your mirrorless camera. And um, the one major difference is that when you're done, all you do is you simply, simply turn it off, reattach your lens. You're not going to hear that mirror flip back into place because mirrorless cameras don't have a mirror. Again, my name is Anna and I am from Delkin Devices. Today we've shown you a little bit about sensor cleaning for digital SLR and mirrorless cameras. A little bit about our new sensor scope travel kit that we're really proud um, to show to you guys. Um, once again, it's going to come with 15 wands, so that's going to give you the chance to clean 15 times. Um, it's going to come with a bottle of the sensor solution, and it's going to come with a bulb blower. 
Um, one other aspect that we didn't mention previously was uh, it also is going to come with this little lens cleaning cloth. That's really handy just to keep the glass clean on your sensor scope itself. You can also clean the exterior of your cameras with this. So we go ahead and include that as well. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, have fun with sensor cleaning. It's much easier than you would think. Thank you.